Barnaby Phillips reporting there. Well, here in the United States, the chairman of the Republican Party has been heavily criticized by Democrats and members of his own party for comments he's made about the war in Afghanistan. Speaking at a Republican fundraiser on Thursday, Michael Steele said the conflict there was, quote, a war of Obama's choosing. He described the recent resignation of U.S. Commander General McChrystal as, quote, comical. Still criticized the U.S. president further, saying if he's such a student of history, he has not understood that, you know, that the one thing you don't do is engage in a land war in Afghanistan. Because everyone who's tried over a thousand years of history has failed, and there are reasons for that. There are other ways to engage in Afghanistan. A prominent Republican columnist, Bill Kristol, has called for Steele to resign over the comments. It's not the first time Steele has faced strong criticism from his own Republican ranks. We're going to talk more about this. Let's join now political analyst and professor Jason Johnson. He teaches political science and joins us live from Raleigh, North Carolina. Mr. Johnson, thanks for joining us again. What do you make of these comments? It's this never-ending story with Michael Steele. He cannot escape putting his foot in his mouth. And the problem is, objectively speaking, he's done a good job as RNC chair. During his tenure, the Republican Party won in Massachusetts, they won in New Jersey, they won in Virginia, but every single time he opens his mouth, when he tries to criticize Barack Obama or his own party in general, he makes a mistake. And it's made him a very weak leader with, strangely, a strong resume. Well, surely he would have known he would have gotten pushback from his own party, wouldn't he? You know, you would think so, but the same thing applied earlier this spring when Michael Steele made an announcement saying that he didn't think that the Republicans were going to take back the House in the fall, pretty much moving against any of the talking points that they'd had for the previous parts of the early year. I think Michael Steele realizes that he was a lame duck the moment he got his job, and I think now he's just pretty much off the reservation. He's saying whatever he thinks, whether or not it makes sense, whether or not it helps the party, and I think ultimately it's going to be a problem if the Republicans can't stay on message for the fall election. Well, that's the, the question I was wondering. I mean, is this gaffe going to have the legs, so to speak, that could make it significant come congressional elections in November? Well, in a way, within the Republican Party, yes. To the voters at large, not really. You know, Michael Steele has become something of a gadfly. I mean, he's almost, as much as he had problems with Rush Limbaugh earlier this year, he's almost as marginalized as Rush Limbaugh. Whenever Republicans hear his comments, they always say, well, there goes Michael Steele again. We can't wait until his term as head of the RNC is over sometime next year. So I think within the party, it causes some consternation. But as far as voters in general, they're still looking at the economy. They're still looking at health care, and they're still looking at jobs. Well, and of course, those are the big issues with the White House. The White House, of course, dealing with some plummeting poll numbers. What kind of effect do you think this is going to have? If there was any strategy here in terms of Mr. Steele, do you think it's had a backfire and could actually help the White House in terms of public opinion? Oh, yes. It's definitely going to help the White House. Every single time Michael Steele says something, it causes Republicans to wince and it causes the White House to cheer. They want him to keep talking, just like they want Rush Limbaugh to keep talking, because every time he says something uh, that, that seems out of touch, every time he says something that shows confusion about basic policy, I mean, to suggest that Barack Obama started the war in Afghanistan makes no sense. It makes the White House happy because they can paint the Republicans as the obstructionist party that's out of touch. And that's pretty much what they've got to run on, at least in the middle part of the summer. So where is this headed then? Are we going to see further fallout? Yeah, I think there's going to be further fallout. Look, the, the calls for Michael Steele to go have reached a fever pitch. Uh, the people I know within the Republican Party, they cannot wait. They don't want to run the risk of asking him to completely step down before the fall elections. They think that fallout would be too big. But I would think that no matter what happens this fall, even if the Republicans did well, uh, we can see that probably before the end of the year, Michael Steele will be gone as the head of the RNC. Jason Johnson, as always, it's great to have you here on Al Jazeera. Thanks. Thank you.